Hey everybody, Tim again here from Ethos Car Care today talking about graphene. I know you guys have been super excited about this. And today we're going to discuss this little bottle in more detail by answering some of your questions below. So let's get started. Now these questions we receive via email, messenger, Instagram, Facebook, and we definitely love your guys' questions, so please keep them coming in so we can make sure you're as educated as possible about our graphene matrix coding. So the main question we, we've been getting so far is what is the difference between a graphene coating and a ceramic coating? Very good question. And it can get very confusing because there are a lot of similarities. So from the chemistry side, graphene uses a very similar solvency as ceramic coatings do, but instead of a silicone, an oxide of silicone, we use a oxide of graphene. So what that means in simple terms is that the application is gonna be very similar as well as the maintenance products um, and the prep products to actually install and maintain the coating are gonna be very similar as well too. So you can use our ceramic shampoo and our other ceramic uh, products to maintain the graphene coating without any issues or, or any compromises with that. So the main benefit of the graphene over ceramic essentially is a couple things. The installation itself is much easier than ceramic coating options because the graphene coatings don't harden and crystallize in the same way the ceramic coatings do. So when you go to apply a ceramic coating, once you apply it with an applicator, for example, as you're applying it on the surface and you let that application sit too long, it actually starts to become sticky, you're hardened. And sometimes you get what's left over is known as a high spot. And if you leave that high spot on there, you gotta compound it off. It's basically stuck on the paint. So the graphene coatings are applied with the same type of applicator as a ceramic coating, but because they don't harden the same way as a ceramic, you're able to wipe it off with much less risk of high spots that could actually bond and, and harden on the paint that are really troublesome to remove. And the application itself, because of the slickness of the graphene, is a lot smoother and a lot easier to, to level off. The other benefit of the graphene is the water spot potential. So the Achilles seal of ceramic coatings is water spotting. That's due to their, their chemical makeup. They tend to have issues with hard water from sprinklers, um, different types of water that sits on the surface, whether it's the rain or from uh, reclaimed water that could actually leave water spot etching. So the graphene's about 80 to 90% less likely to get water spots than the ceramic uh, coatings are. So that doesn't mean that it can't happen. It definitely could still spot if you're not careful, but it's much less. And that's due to the chemical resistance of the graphene oxide that we use in that product as well. Um, durability seems to be substantially better as well as the water repellency. Uh, the sliding angle actually, so not only is the coating more hydrophobic, which means the water beads are gonna be taller and sharper, but the sliding angle, which is the angle for the water to evacuate from the surface is lower, which means you need less of an angle of the panel for the water to draw itself off the finish, which means that your water beads up bigger and removes from the surface a lot faster. So when you're washing the car, you'll notice a lot less water sitting on the surface than with the ceramic coating. So it's easier to dry, easier to clean, and if it rains and you go to, you know, the, and the water basically beads up on your car, it's gonna self-clean the finish a lot easier than with the ceramic coating, for example. So some differences, we can almost do a whole video on the differences of ceramic and graphene. So ceramic coatings are still very good options. Graphene just offers some different properties in terms of the installation and the performance. Um, so another viewer asked about the application. Is it indoor only? Is it hands-on? Will, will there be a spray-on coating available? Uh, does the vehicle need to be stripped? And um, someone sucks and screws it up, is it hard to get off? So once again, great questions. We'll have a whole video series about the actual installation. And to give you a brief summary, it is indoor application only. This cannot be applied in the sunlight. It cannot be applied. Um, it can be applied outside in the shade. We would recommend inside in a garage in a controlled environment. So the temperature and humidity are all controlled. Um, there's no plans to have a spray on coating yet. Uh, possibly in the future. As of right now, the graphene currently, or graphene matrix coating, this is the most advanced coating available. This, there's nothing else that's currently available on the market from raw ingredient side to technology side that is better than this stuff. And it would be like going to Steve Jobs when he made the first iPhone saying, you know, are you guys gonna make a better iPhone? Probably, you know, but as of right now, it's the best technology that we have. Um, the vehicle does need to be stripped to uh, a bare finish, either with a um, detox spray, a compound and polish. You can't, cannot apply this on top of wax sealant, uh, spray sealant, spray coating, 
This is designing the bond directly to the finish. This is not designed to be layered on top of other stuff. This is your replacement technology for waxes and sealants and a ceramic coating of if that's what you're looking for. This is not designed to be a topper. This is your replacement technology that's gonna give you the best of the best performance, the best of the best durability, but not designed to be used on top of other products. So you gotta make that very, very clear. So there is pluses and minuses. This is gonna be more expensive and a little more time consuming to prep compared to a spray product. But you're gonna get five years of durability versus five months. Uh, so it's give and take of what you're looking to achieve with that. So. Goes, that goes to our next question, and we've got this question quite a bit. Um, should the graphene matrix coating go under or on top of the ceramic wax uh, in one step, essentially? Uh, no, so the graphene matrix coating cannot go underneath or on top of the ceramic wax. This again is standalone, standalone protection designed to be used on its own. Uh, it can be maintained with our ceramic products like ceramic shampoo and Defy but not designed to be topped with ceramic wax and not designed to be put on top of ceramic wax. That's for a couple reasons. Like I said, uh, graphene matrix needs to be bonded directly to the substrate, whether it's your plastics, your paint, your wheels, glass, chrome, trim, whatever it is. And it's designed to shed anything on top of the coating. So if you were to put a wax on this, you're basically gonna be affecting the performance of the coating as well as uh, not really seeing any benefit of it. It's gonna shed whatever else you put on top of that. So you're only gonna you're only gonna reduce the performance and not get any benefits out of it. So there's no reason to put ceramic wax or any other topper on side of it on top of this aside from our maintenance products itself. So another question: Can it be put on top of ceramic wax or other waxes? No, they have to be stripped. Uh, clay compound polish uh, and uh, our detox preparation spray before graphene goes on. So what are the difference between ceramic wax pro and graphene? Uh, a lot of differences. So our Ceramic Wax Pro, as you guys know, it's our ceramic coating in a wax form. It basically gives you the best technology you can get out of a paste wax application, which means that anyone with any background, any experience can apply it with minimal risk of damaging due to high spots or missing uh, areas, that kind of thing. So it gives you the best performance you can get with the least amount of risk. Whereas graphene is on the other side. You get the best performance you can get but it's a little bit more time consuming of application and definitely more detailed. You would not want to pick this up if you never applied a wax before. This is going to be a little bit more uh, detail oriented. You want to take your time and make sure that you're following all the steps, uh, that you're wiping this off completely. You're making sure you're not skipping steps and jumping all over the place because this is, this is going to be a more detailed application method. Um, but you're going to get five or more years of durability out of this per application. Whereas a shrimp wax, you get about 12 months or so of durability because you are getting an easier install with less risk. So it's a sliding scale. You know, you have performance on one side and you have ease of use on the other. So in terms of coatings, graphene is gonna be one of the easiest uh, coatings on the market to apply, but our ceramic wax in terms of effort and knowledge into installing it is gonna be even easier. So uh, it's up to you guys if you want the best protection and best performance possible, graphene is the way to go. If you want easy, uh, pretty much brainless uh, way of applying a protection to your car, ceramic wax may be a better option as well too. So uh, will there be videos or training available on this product? Yes, so we're gonna do an entire video series walking you through every single step that you need to apply Graphene Matrix. Um, just so you guys get an understanding of what you're getting yourselves into before you install it. Um, and so there's no complications during the process and everyone feels completely equipped to install the coating without uh, worry of damage or, or complications while, while using it. So that goes into our next question. Can the average car guy or detailer apply it? Um, or is there special training required? So uh, short answer is yes. Any average person uh, or detailer can install this. There is no certifi certification course um, or mastery course like some other coatings to install this and to buy it. Um, there is specific steps that you have to follow in order to apply this correctly, but there is no certified training to install this. And we're gonna give you guys and equip you guys with all the right steps, um, as well as some videos to show you how to use the coding to get the best performance and the easiest application with it as well. So, is it like a ceramic coating? Um, kind of the same question as the difference between graphene and ceramic. Um, Short answer is yes, it's like a ceramic coating. It's a you know, semi-permanent coating that bonds to your finish, 
protects against oxidation, UV rays, water spotting, um, light scratching, light marring, and that is another point we'll discuss in future videos. This coating is not scratch proof. It still can scratch. Uh, it's not gonna be something you could take your keys or a screwdriver to and not see scratches or, or wash it with mud on the paint and not get swirl marks. It still can get marred, still can get scratched, but it's gonna give you, you know, the most resistance you can compared to a normal sealant or wax. Uh, so it's very similar to a ceramic coating, but like I said, there are some additional benefits with our graphene infusion versus a ceramic as well. So how large of a vehicle can this be used on? Uh, sky's the limit. You know, we've had customers applying this to planes, boats, uh, tractors, caterpillar trucks, uh, pretty much anything. We even have a customer applying this to his private jet, uh, which is, you would need a couple bottles of this. I assume the question is more referring to the size of this bottle and how many cars can this do. Now our 30 milliliter option can do one full size truck in one coat or a small coupe in two coats. So we designed the 30 milliliter bottle to be for the consumer, for someone that's looking to coat one vehicle. Um, that is because the shelf life of this, once opened, is extremely short. You essentially wanna open this product and use as much as you can and throw the rest away. You can't open half of this and let it sit on your shelf and six months down the road, apply it. Because once you start opening it, the curing process, process starts happening. Any unopened bottles, the shelf life is about 12 months for that. So yeah, like I said, full size truck per 30 milliliter bottle. Um, we will also be offering larger 50 mil and 100 mil bottles for professional detailers that will do multiple cars a week as well. So. Um, and the last question we have here today is, can this work to restore my plastics? Uh, yes and no. So that question, without seeing how bad the plastics are, it's hard to say yes. If your plastics are a few years old and starting to fade a little bit, graphene will give you an enhancement and will help restore and rejuvenate the plastics. If you're looking for uh, rejuvenation or a restoration of really completely total plastics that are 10 or plus years old that are completely white, graphene's not gonna do it for you guys. At least our graphene matrix coating is not intended for that. This is more intended to enhance and protect uh, finishes that have been properly cared for and they're looking to get the best shine and the best protection on them. It's not meant to restore you know, faded clear coat, oxidated clear coat, um, all that stuff would have to be polished before this is applied. This is gonna enhance and protect uh, good condition finishes. So anyway, you guys, I hope that answers some questions for you. Please feel free to reach out to us with more questions. We'd love to give you more information on this product as well as comment below any questions you guys have and stay tuned for more videos about our graphene matrix coating because it's, it's bound to impress you guys with the performance uh, of this product. We're very excited to be one of the first in the world to offer this and to be the first company to offer a graphene matrix coating that is this easy to use with this level of performance. So I'll talk to you guys soon and thanks for watching.